All right, you're having issues with Battlefield 6? Me too. I think I finally figured them out. Open beta Battlefield 6 requires that special key, whatever the hell it's called. And if it's not launching that special key, this is why. Okay, first thing you need to do is go to system information. Go down to your search bar on your taskbar down on Windows and type in system information and it'll pull this up right here. You need to look for secure boot state. That's what they want to see. Right here it says unsupported. That's because my shit was not supported. And then if you look at BIOS mode, it's legacy. Those are the telltales right there. First thing we're going to look at to see what the problem is, not BIOS. Look at your hard drives. Let's try to consolidate this so you can get into Battlefield as fast as possible. So to do that, you're going to right click on your, uh, your start icon down here and go to disk management. Disk management looks like this right here. You need to go up to view disk list. Very important so we can see what type of partition we're dealing with. It's going to change it to look like this right here. Partition style is what we want to see. GPT, GPT, GPT. Before I made this video, it was MBE. MBE is not compatible with the, I don't even remember, secret token, whatever the hell the damn thing is called. I'm so frustrated with it. Who cares? This is what you need. Secure boot is to make it GPT. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we use a tool called MBE, number two, GPT. It's already built in your Windows. It's real easy to deal with. You're going to need to use command prompt to do that. So here we go. Open up command prompt, search it in the search bar. And when it pulls up command prompt, make sure you right click on it and hit open as administrator. It's very important that you don't miss that step. You're going to get a black screen like this. You need to run MBR to GPT. I'm going to write this script down here in the description. You can just copy paste it. MBR to GPT.exe space forward slash validate space forward slash allow full OS. What this does is validate the drive and make sure it's okay to convert it over. You do not have to reinstall Windows. You will not lose files. You won't lose anything. All it's going to do is compress a little bit of space, make 600 megabytes worth of reserve space, another partition, if you will, for the operating system, and then it's going to convert everything over. And then you'll be like we are now talking to you in a converted hard drive. Everything's fine. Actually runs a little bit better. Now, after it does the check, it's going to say completed successfully. If it says that, you're okay to go ahead and do your thing. If you get an error, like number zero error, like can't find where the operating system is or anything like that, I've got a video pinned in the description as well to this guy that saved my ass. Because what can happen is if you only have two partitions on, on your operating system hard drive, for whatever reason, if you had to do a recovery or a wipe or whatever on that system, you could be missing a particular file out of your recovery in the system 32 folder, which could be hanging up the whole thing, which won't allow you to even convert it, which is what I've been dealing with all day. And this guy made the most badass video step-by-step -step on how to do it way better than I could. So I'm going to give him the views because he's going to help us out uh, through this particular issue. I don't think a lot of y'all are going to run into that, but if some of y'all do, that's how to get around it. Next step, if you don't run into any issues, everything's successful, um, MBR to GPT, space forward slash allow full OS, space forward slash convert, space forward slash disk colon zero. Disk zero is your basically your C drive, your, where your operating system lives. The one that you said or the app said was MBE. That's the one we're converting over. And then it'll do its thing. I recommend if you're scared, make a backup of your C drive. But I didn't have any issues doing this. You'll see it will do its thing. And then it's converted over. Now, it's very important to go into your BIOS after you restart. So restart hit delete or F12 or F11, F52, whatever it is to get into your BIOS. If you don't know how to do that, you should probably educate yourself with your particular manufacturer motherboard before you attempt to do this a little bit and uh, go in there and switch it from legacy, which you saw a minute ago, we were in legacy. We need to switch it over to the 
UEFI model, which we did. Hell yeah. Restart the computer. We're talking to you now when it, everything is cool. Okay, and then we're going to see if it will actually launch now after we did that. And I actually pre-recorded this, and the audio is terrible, so I'm having to redo it. Allowed us to launch in, and boom, here we go. So those are the things you need to do to get it going. If you have any questions, drop them down. Maybe I can help you out. Again, if you need to fix some issues with that uh, error, MBE to GPT error message that you might get, Check that dude's video out. He's got a couple of different videos on different scenarios that can happen and drop him a sub. Drop me a sub. Come join me on stream. Now, I've been dealing with this all day, and now I can finally go play Battlefield as a medic. Support, give everybody ammo, and heal everybody's ass. Appreciate y'all. Hit like and subscribe or unsubscribe like a lot of my audience likes to do now because I like to play other games. Anyway, see y'all next time.